こんにちは。Welcome to Kodama Showcase. Kodama Showcase is a weekly program where I show you my favorite koi and talk about the koi. And this is what I have today for you. We have a beautiful Taisho Sanke from Marudo Koi Farm. Four years old and、uh, 68.5, so it's about 27 inches. Hi, this is Taro Kodama from Kodama Koi Farm. We've been doing this、uh, for a long time. My father started this business more than 50 years ago, and we have been doing this in the United States for almost,、uh, I guess, more than 20 years. So, for the last, for the long time, we've been introducing a lot of quality Japanese koi. So, if you're looking for really quality, nice quality Japanese koi at the fair price, Please consider Kodama Koi Farm. If you like this video, please share this video with your friends. If you like this、uh, Facebook, follow my Facebook,、uh, go to my website, sign up my newsletter, you know, whatever you can do,、uh, that would be wonderful. Okay, so let's talk about Koi today. Like I said, today I have a beautiful Taisho Sanke. She is from、uh, Maruko Koi Farm. Well, Taisho Sanke. Is one of the most popular v a r i e t y in Koi, Kohaku, Taisho Sanke, or we call it Sanke in short, or Showa. These are the three major varieties, and we call them Gosanke. You want to know why we call them Gosanke? I created a really good video for that, so I'm going to attach a link here, so please take a look later on. So when we look at the Sanke, I usually check four things. One, Of course, is a breeder. Two, body conformation. Three, pattern, I mean quality. And the last, the pattern. So, because the breeder is the most important thing、uh, when it comes to the Gosanke, especially because those,、uh, especially those Gosanke, the major varieties, they are so much refined.、Uh, the, the bloodline is so much refined and sophisticated. So, if, you, if they are not coming from a good bloodline,、uh, it's very hard. To get a good result for the future. You know, koi is a living creature. We want them to grow big and more beautiful. We don't want them to stay small and do not、uh, let's get less beautiful. So, the bloodline, when it comes to that future potential, is very important. So, for that、uh, bloodline, like I said, you know, I, told you, I told you this is she is from Marudo Koi Farm. Marudo Koi Farm is definitely one of the leading. Breeders in Japan, and he's very good at Sanke. So, for that,、uh, for that future potential, you don't have to worry about it as far as this coat is concerned. Now, let's look at the body. She has a, a, such a nice、uh, little bit, you know, head is a little bit small, but she has a really nice round、uh, shape, you know, from the head all the way to the tail. I have the picture. If, I, if possible, I'm going to attach the picture of her when she was two years old. She was much skinnier. But now, you know, with more uh, food uh, in a bigger pond, now she gained much more growth. And then she, is such a tall, she has such a tall body over here. So the body is very strong. Now let's look at the quality. So, the quality again, you know, we, we just harvested her this morning, so she's a little bit stressed. So,、uh, you know, bear with me, she's not really showing, you know, what she is really is. But you can see, you can already see a nice f u k u r i n here. You can see those knitting p a t t e r n between the scales. And the sumi is nice too.、Uh, probably this sumi can really show you her true, excuse me, sumi over here. You can see. How lacquer this kind of heart shape、uh, scale. This one is good, so it's very deep and thick.、Uh, the rest of the part right now it looks great because, like, again, you know, she we just harvested her, harvested her this morning, so it's not really showing her true,、uh, genuine quality. But you know, just looking at those、uh, scales, you can see how、uh, good the quality is. Let's talk about the pattern now. Pattern is important when it comes to the Gosanke. And、uh, you know, for the Kohaku, you want to see a really nice red pattern on the white body. You know, the red is very dominant color. When it comes to the Showa, you see a lot of black. But when it comes to Sanke, we want to see elegant beauty. 
on the body and especially for her she has such a smaller plates of the red of the heat plates over here here and here it's kind of very balanced but you can see a lot of vacant room and that's where the black comes in you know as a kohaku basically sanke is a kohaku with a sumi pattern so how sumi comes in to uh, to be to work together with the he the red is very very important so if you see this ko just as a regular kohaku it looks too light you know she doesn't really look beautiful but now when this sumi on the shoulder comes in and then you can see this sumi that goes across the, the sh uh, across the body and then the sumi on the tail those sumi are very very important for her beauty that really anchors balances the whole uh, beauty of this koi so those sumi really completes the beauty of this koi you know she is only four years old almost 28 inches she has she can grow much bigger and much more beautiful again you know she those sumi is and then just imagine when those sumi kind of comes in together and be more finished well uh, also i want you to look at here especially the tail joint you can see how beautiful the combination of the uh, the red black and a white on the tails this is almost a perfect uh, odome pattern of, of this sunken so every part of the body you can see really nice three colors and in in great harmony so this koi is a beautiful sanke and as usual uh, koi at the Kodama showcase is always available for purchase so if, if you are interested if you have any question just let me know okay you can contact me through Facebook or you can simply email us call us call my office okay so before we go I want you to enjoy this koi one more time You know she doesn't have a lot of colors like showa or kohaku she actually have much less color but she re she you know it's like the less the more i think that's really what she's you know showing off on her body okay so i think that's a bit for, uh, for this week i hope you enjoyed it and until uh, i'll see you next week until then stay happy with the coin